Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial in this Django tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to explore about the details page in Django. So by details page, let me show you what it means. So as you can see, these are all the contents from the database. So each of these video has its own detail. So whenever you click to this one and then this has its own details. This is the title of the video. It has its own description, the uploader, the subscribers, the likes and dislikes. So this is basically a detail page. So this is the this is the outside view. This is it right now. And whenever we click this one, it will take us to the detail page. So to create a detail page, it's fairly simple. So we need to create another view because we are going to another file or another HTML URL location. So detail page will just say define detail request and it is specific to each movie. So we need to pass in ID. So what ID does is it gets a specific movie. So we'll say movie equals movie dot objects dot get id equals id so whatever id we pass it will put it on to this over here and it will return us the movie object whose id is the one that we pass right now so it's sql equivalent it's going to be select everything from movie where id equals id so uh, let's pass it is in a dictionary as well we'll just say movie and movie and then we'll return render request main slash details.html and context is the same thing that we did above and we need to create details.html we'll just do, de do details.html and even this file is going to extend from base.html so we'll do extends main slash base dot HTML and we'll do block content like I told you earlier and we'll do end block and over here let's do h1 we'll do movie dot name this time we don't need to use a loop because this is going to return only one movie because a movie associated with a certain ID will return only a one movie so we are referring to this movie over here and movie.name and we'll just do p we have movie.description and we'll do i movie.release date is that what it is let's see it's release date yep and yeah those are the details so uh we are not done here because we haven't told it or set a rule for the details page to display in our URLs. So we need to set that. So to do so, we'll just do path. And right now we can't just leave it empty because it's targeting to a certain specific page and it's details. And since it is specific to each movie, we need the ID. So to specify it in URLs, you need this sign and you need to specify ID and what is the type of the id it's integer so we'll just do int give a forward slash and we'll refer to views.details and we'll do name is details okay so it shouldn't give any error it says it doesn't have details so let's see it is just detail and it should work and it says invalid id oh, okay so it's int and id so the id is going to be integer type okay let's reload it one more time and it shouldn't give any error this time so let's reload it and then let's go to details and one so this is the details for the dark knight it's a movie about Batman. This is the description and this is the release date. So let's go to number two and it's for the Jojo Rabbit. 
it's about world war and it's really unique and we go to three and it doesn't exist because we don't have any movies besides those two movies in the database and it didn't get so what it tried was it tried movie dot objects dot get id equals to three and that is false because we don't have any movie with id three on the database so that was the detail space and uh, in our next video we will discuss more about the urls on how we can just click on the outer links and then go to the detail space and also about adding the entries to the database from the stno file and if you have any problems, just let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.